Havana County ya Nairobi Johnson Sakaja. It's really what is the right of, you know, uh, that we've got when we got independence, you know, self-determination. The ability for us to go to the polling station every so often and decide who our leaders are. The fight uh, for multipartism, people paid the price for us to have multiple parties. I've seen some ballot papers which are really long, especially the Senate one. I don't know why everyone wants to replace me. <laughs> but uh, all in all, it's a proud moment. I'm very happy. It's been a long journey. Um, many would have wished for me not to be on the ballot today, but I'm there. But I can confirm that we voted for me. Yeah? Yes. And so, now, what's your opinion on the entire process, voting process? Well, um, there's, there's, there's a bit of confusion, but I think IBC is trying their best. Um, for instance, I was in one line because they said it's alphabetical, starting with the first name, which is Johnson. But then when you get to the front, is when they tell you, you know, there's a spillover of this line. So we go to another. I think a lot of that information should be available before people line up. Um, before I voted, you saw there was an old man um, who had been here for a, long, for a while and he's had to go to another polling station. The directions are not clear. So I think just helping the voters understand the process is, is an area we can improve on. Um, number two, uh, what I've seen, because I have agents in all the stations, I have 3,641 agents across the city. We've been getting reports that in the morning, some of them were not allowed. Um, some of them were being asked for requirements that are different, and I've spoken to the county returning officer because UDA as a party is not fielding agents. It's asked the candidates who have agents. So some are being asked for the, you know, a letter from UDA, yet they should have a letter from me. Um, the oath of secrecy, which we have stamped, they are saying that it should be stamped by IBC. Yet it's not IBC, it's a commission of oaths. So there's just need for clarity and the same standard to apply in all the polling stations. Um, there are certain areas where Kim's kids are not working, like in Westlands, Farasi Lane. Um, there's one ballot box in Toy Primary that had a cover of Kitengela Primary. So just those small hitches. But all in all, I'm glad to see the people have turned out. Um, the numbers are good. Uh, the reports we're getting from my secretariat uh, that there's no um, incident that is out of the ordinary to, to the extreme. But I would urge the returning officer, the county returning officer, to make sure that all of those um, questions on who gets into the station are addressed before the end of the day so that when it comes to counting, which is the most sensitive time, we have the right teams in the hall. Do you think uh, it's in order to revert to Manu totally or should we go there? No, that's a matter that's been determined by court. So my opinion doesn't matter on that. Um, the courts gave its position yesterday on the issue of the Kim's kit and the manual register. So we have to abide by the law as law-abiding citizens. Yeah. And there was there were some delays in many constituencies in Nairobi, especially Westlands, uh, yeah. which made people queue for a very long time and some maybe gave up and, you know, walked away. Yes, Do yes. you think that will affect uh, the results of the elections in Nairobi County? First, we'd like to ask all of those who... Um, experienced undue delays in whichever stations to please go back. Um, all the stations are now uh, voting. It's moving on uh, very efficiently. So if you give up because of that long wait, please, I would urge you as a candidate to just go back um, to that station and to cast your vote. You know, your leaders determine you know how we live moving forward. Um, I don't think it, uh, it necessarily changed the outcome. I think uh, Nairobians have decided. Um, and they have decided resoundingly. And for as long as this process remains free and fair, there will be a resounding and definitive result. It will not be 50-50. There will be a def defining result at the end of the day. Um, and God willing, we'll have the results possibly by tomorrow. Are you confident you're going to win the gubernatorial seat? I'm hopeful that we are going to win. And we say, Inshallah, uh, God willing, koma penzi ya mungu. Yes. Yeah. Line 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 Namni Johnson sakaja mpeperusha bendera ya ugavana kupitia chama cha UDA akiwa tayari amepiga kura yake licha ya yale matatizo masaibu ambayo alikuwa akimkumba awali alipokuwa katika harakati za kutafuta 
tiketi hiyo mtazamaji kumbuka viti vyake vilikuwa vimetiliwa dosari. Mtazamaji sasa narifiwa kwamba tuelekee katika kaunti ya Bometa ambapo Emmanuel To amekita kambi Emmanuel To uko na yapi? Ti ya Bometa ni met east katika kituo cha kupigia kura cha Kapkimolo primary school, primary school ambapo kwa sasa ya gavana wa county hii professor Hilary Barchok ameshapiga kura yake na imekuwa ni shughuli tu ya muda mfupi dakika tano zilizopita mikamilisha shughuli hiyo na shughuli ya upigaji kura katika county hii inaendelea shwari hakuna shida ambayo tumeishuhudia kwa sasa isipokuwa tu tukio moja ambalo tumeshuhudia katika eneo la Longisa katika sehemu eh, dakika chache kutoka hapa ambapo kulikuwa na watu ambao hawalikosa sa kujitambulisha kwenye vile vipakatalishi vya IBC yani KMS kids na kwa hivyo eh, gavana hapa tumekuwa naye amepiga kura nitakuwa nazungumza naye kwa sasa aweze tukutueleza hadi sasa shughuli imekuaje katika county eh, shughuli imeanza mapema eh, kwa sasa hali ambayo umetathmini umeona imekuwa vipi mm, asante sana eh, kwanza wacha ni shukuru Mwenyezi Mungu ambaye ametuwezesha tuamuke siku ya leo na tuamukie kazi ya muhimu kwetu sisi kama wana Kenya. Na niko na furaha nimeweza kupika kura yangu hapa. This is uh, my former primary school and it is my polling center. Hiyo exercise imeenda smoothly, identification and all the way to voting imeenda vizuri sana. For those uh, of us who have been able to do so, I took muda. The only thing that we would wish to request because um, in some uh, seats the, the 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 list is very long and it can be very confusing. Na nikipenda kuahimisha hasa wase wakina mama na wakina baba. Kama hauna confidence ya kwa identify, tafuta mtoto wako ama uitishe msahada from the agents that we have in the polling station. Lakini ukifanya hivyo lazima u shout useme kwa sauti ninataka fulani na wahakikishe kuwa umepewa huyo fulani ambaye unataka kupikia kura so that tusipate mambo ambayo watu wetu wanadanganywa wapigie kura mtu mwingine mwenye hawataki otherwise uh, niko na furaha kwetu huku bomet exercise imeanza vizuri despite some small small logistical challenges ambazo tumekuwa nazo kama kule ndana i think there was some confusion uh, sanduku ya women rep ilichelewa in one of the station because walipeleka mbili ya MCA so otherwise uh, personally i think i'm satisfied with the way the exercise is going on na ningependa kupongeza IBC kwa ile kazi ambao umefanya na ningependa tu kuahimiza wale wazimamisi wa polling station please let us ensure kuwa mwananchi amepewa haki yake because in Mesquia, in some of the in some of the stations wanafukuza agents watoke nje and that one is not good and we will not condone such behavior although it's so far so good and i'm happy except for one case nimeona huku mzee mmoja ameenda kule akafinya ile kimskit lakini jina lake aliko kule ndani so and i think they are sorting it out Allah is so far so good and I'm happy even the, the prevailing peace that we have in the county we haven't experienced any chaos and I wish that the same would continue to the end of the exercise in the day okay so governor labda mnafanya vipi kuwashawishi wale ambao wajakuja kupiga kura kuja kupiga ni mambo gani mnafanya um, kwangu na kwa wale ambao wanaania fiti mbali mbali we have our mobilizers so we are coming to ensure that uh, all the villagers all the eligible voters wame toka na wame pika kura. So this is something that we have been sensitizing, sensitizing them all through, even in our campaigns, the importance of coming out and voting. So kwa wale ambao pengine ni wakonjwa ama person living with disabilities na wase na wakina mamba ambao wawesi tembea, pia tumetafuta means of transport, wata boda na hizi magari ndogo ndogo ndiyo siende baka kule, awatoe, our peleke baka polling station our rudisha nyumbani so that's what we are uh, doing na ningependa kuahimiza watoke mapema wasingoje paka saa 10 ama saa 11 wajitokeze chitokeze saa hii tumalize kura mapema halafu tupatie IBC nafasi ya kuhesabu kura okay.
ama kweli mtazamaji jitokeze kwa wakati unaofanya ndio ukapige kura yako kisha tusubiri IBC itangaze matokeo ya uchaguzi huo mtazamaji sasa moja kwa moja tuelekee hadi kwake Clement Masombo ambaye yuko katika kaunti ya Nyeri Clement Masombo kura ya Mlima Kenya ni kura muhimu sana kwenye kapu zima la shughuli hii ya uchaguzi sijui uko na yapi kutoka maeneo uliko na shukran sana wa kesho ni kweli kwamba kura ya mlima Kenya ni kura muhimu sana katika kapu zima la kutafuta uongozi wa nchi hii ya Kenya ukizingatia kwamba eneo la mlima Kenya lina zaidi ya kura milioni tano nukta saba na hasa katika wale wagombeaji kutoka mirengo miwili ya kisiasa mrengo wa Kenya kwanza na vile vile mrengo wa zimelo moja wote wamechagua wagombea wenza kutoka eneo hili la mlima Kenya mrengo wa Kenya kwanza ambao unaongozwa na William Ruto ukimchagua Rigathi Gashagwa ambaye anatoka hapa katika kaunti hii ya Nyeri na mrengo wa Zimelo moja ambao unaongozwa na Raila Odinga kiongozi wa chama cha ODM ukimchagua Martha Karua ambaye anatoka katika kaunti ya Kirinyaga lakini kwa sasa niko hapa katika kaunti ya Nyeri ambapo kutoka mapema sana nimekuwa nikizunguka zunguka tu katika maeneo tofauti nikiangalia hali ilivyo na kwa sasa naweza ripoti kwamba hali ni shwari shughuli inaendelea jinsi ilivyo tarajiwa japo tu kidogo tunaweza ripoti kwamba ukilinganisha idadi ya wapiga kura ambao wamejitokeza sikia leo na vilina uke, wale ambao walikuwa wamejitokeza mwaka uchaguzi mkuu wa mwaka 2017 kwa sasa unaweza sema kwamba wale ambao wamejitokeza leo kidogo idadi iko chini manake tumepiga tumezunguka zunguka tulianza na eneo bunge la Mathira ambapo e, mgombea mwenza wa UDA Rigathi Gashagwa alikuwa akipiga kura leo mapema katika shule ya pili shule msingi ya Sagana pale katika eneo bunge la Mathira pale foleni ilikuwa ndefu kidogo lakini tuka baada hapo tukaelekea ina ubunge la Mkuruini ambako pia te wapiga kura walikuwa wamejitokeza lakini pale idadi haikuwa ya kuvutia sana na kwa sasa nipo katika eneo bunge la Kieni hili ndilo eneo bunge ambalo liko na wapiga kura wengi zaidi katika kaunti nzima ya Nyeri eneo bunge la Kieni lina wapiga kura 1114 ile mbalo likifuatwa na eneo bunge la Madhera ambalo lina wapiga kura 1104 na kisha maeneo bunge hayo mengine ni bunge ambalo lina idadi ndogo sana ya wapiga kura ni eneo bunge la tetu ambalo lina wapiga kura e, 1054 na ka, kati ya hayo maeneo bunge yote matatu ambayo nimezuru e, hatujashuhudia foleni ndefu za wapiga kura ambao wamejitokeza lakini tutakuwa tukizungumza na baadhi ya wapiga kura ambao wamejitokeza e, wamepiga foleni hapa tayari kwenda kupiga kura tu e, tusikie maoni yao ni gani tuanze na ndugu e, tueleze jina lako nani alafu e, umejitokeza tayari kwenda kupiga kura una maoni gani ama ujumbe wako kwa Kenya siku kama hii ni gani Yes kwa majinda ni Gibson Mwangi. Yes nimejitokeza siku ya leo ndio niweze kuchagua viongozi kwa sababu wale viongozi ambao utaweza kuchagua leo hondo atatuongoza miaka tano ambayo inakuja na ukosa kujitokeza uchaguane of course utapata uongozi mbaya na ndio utakuwa kiteta. So kwa sasa kwa siku ya leo naomba Kenya aweze kujitokeza achague viongozi wale ambao wanaona wako na seda mzuri wataongoza kwa njia ipasavyo na kwa leo tunaomba jioni saa kumi na moja ikifika vituo zikiweza kufungwa kuda zikihesabua tutaanza kusipata zile dai huko bomas tunaomba wa Kenya amani 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 asante amani 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 shukrani sana tuzunguze nawe dada e, mbona ume, ni, ni msukumo gani ambao umekusukuma leo kufika hapa kupiga kura ama kura hii ya leo ina umuhimu gani kwako wewe kama mpiga kura ama mkenya wa kawaida hapa kwa majina naitwa Caroline Ndegwa uh, sababu yangu kuja kupiga kura ni ndio ni chaguo la kiongozi mwenye naona anaweza kutimiza ile manifesto yenye ametupea ndio maana siku ya leo nimeamua nikuja nipige kura yeah. okay. shukrani nitasonga songa kidogo tuzunguze na wewe ndugu kama